Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough solve for the 3x3x4. Now I would like you to keep in mind that this could act like a tutorial, this video is kind of like a tutorial for people who know the 2x3x3 algorithms, excluding the parity algorithm for the 3x3x4. So I'll mix the cube and get back with you. Okay, so now we're back with the scrambled cuboid. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to put these pieces in the corresponding spots. To that, do that, I usually put the yellow face down and do exactly what I just said. So blue opposite green, red opposite orange, and yellow opposite white. The next thing I would do is search for um, a belonging edge piece. So here, let's say. I look at the cube real quickly, but I can't find it. So I scan it and I notice it's here. So I take it out by putting a green and red edge in. So I know I have to put this one is in because it's flipped compared to the, how the edges are placed and I use this exact same algorithm on when I have to put this cube in this section so it's and it puts it there so um, I do that and it places in I look for more so it's the exact same thing here it has to be flipped and it goes in and I do it for the last section which is right here so it's this cube you have to put in here so I go and that basically resolves my problem for well it basically does this layer next I would do the second layer. In this case, it's very, very easy. It's basically the algorithm that switches the two center pieces here. So it's that's the algorithm that. I would have to u that I use on a two by three by three the algorithm I just used to switch the two pieces would basically look like this that's the algorithm I just used you may end up in a case in which um, you only have two corner pieces and nothing else, no, no other corners that match. So you basically do this algorithm. And it solves it. On a 2x3x3, three three, this algorithm would look like this. And it would solve all the corners. You may also end up um, in a time where you have to go where the edges are swapped from across each other, like it is. This is a very easy algorithm. It's R2, U2, R2, and U2, sorry. R2 and U2 again. And it basically solves this whole um, section. The next step is doing the yellow face. So first you're going to find an edge piece that's good, correct. And you align it. You, there may be cases in which you have no edge pieces, but it's all right. 
Next, you look for a another edge piece on the bottom, and you bring it up, and you align it. When you do that, you swap here and here. So to fix that, instead of just, let's say, the blue edge piece, bringing it up like that and messing up more of the puzzle, you would just do a U inverted and you would bring your edge here also and you would turn it up to fix this problem. On the last edge, I would suggest bringing the edge, like taking it away and then messing up the edges so when you bring it in and bring it back up you repair the edges at the same time the next step is basically putting the corners in so it's you look for a good corner so green I mean um green and red yes it belongs here so you do the algorithm we used to place like this placing in between these and then we notice that it messes up these two pieces again so instead of just turning the cube and doing like the algorithm again you turn the bottom portion of the cube until you until you find like a correct slot and you would do the algorithm but in this case it would belong here yes right here or here in this slot and you end up fixing up the mess that was created for the last one when everything is already correct you on purposely put a white corner in here to mess it to mess the puzzle up you put the yellow on top and do the algorithm and it finishes the first three layers now for the last layer um, we basically do the same thing for what we did on this layer, the upper middle. You basically put um, these two corners on the side and do the algorithm. And it places all the corners correctly. We swap these two in this case. And we, we swap these two. Now, we get parity. So, in this case, well, I'm going to basically show you in the next section. Now we're at the part with the parity case. In this case, it's when we have to swap here with here, and then when this piece goes here, we have to swap it with here. I found a very easy algorithm on YouTube for this part of the solve. It's to um little r2 u2 little r u2 little r2 u2 little r2 u2 little r u2 and little r2 and then you do u2 and you do it again to switch here so it's I'll repeat little r2 u2 little r u2 little r2 u2 little r2 u2 little r u2 and little r2 and that's how you basically solve the puzzle um sometimes you might have the case in which you 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 only have two edges that are swapped and you do the parody like that thank you for watching this tutorial slash walkthrough solve if you if you found this helpful please go um check out my channel and my other videos and
leave a comment and I'll say goodbye now but I'm gonna add a solve at the end of this video so goodbye and please watch the solve at the end